Hey everyone, welcome back to the Model Factory. And in this video, we are going to cover the progress on the Revell 65 Chevy Impala. Okay, so we are gonna start here with the engine. Uh, this is that 572 big block engine kit that I got from Sweet Scale Detail. And uh, this is a, a fantastic engine kit. Um, went, to, went together really, really well um, and just looks beautiful uh, once you've got it all put together and painted. So I've still got a few little things to do to this. Uh, most of it is just detailing. As you can tell, I have the block and the uh, transmission, um, the heads, you know, valve covers. It's all, all the main stuff is pretty much put together on this thing. Um, and so as you can see here is that it's a immune C4 speed transmission. We got the transmission the bell housing um, Painted the engine block the Chevy engine red um, And then of course we've got the aluminum 572 valve covers on there uh, Those things just look gorgeous. They have the 572 and the Chevy bow tie uh, emblem etched into them um, Just looks really nice on there and then uh, if you look down underneath here, we have got the aluminum um, oil pan. On the front, we've got all the detail there, water pump um, and everything. Um, so yeah, this thing just, just looks gorgeous. Really excited about how this is going to look inside the engine bay and everything. Um, on top of the valve covers here, if you look, I've got a couple of air breathers. Um, those are ProTech parts uh, that I have on there. Those are their open style uh, element, open, open style element, uh, or open element style, excuse me, oil breathers. And um, those are really, really cool. Beautiful, beautiful oil breathers. They come with uh, all the stuff you need to make it look like it's got, you know, the, the element inside of it and everything. Um, and those are actually, uh, you know, little aluminum ones as well. Um, and so uh, ProTech just makes beautiful, beautiful ones. So I've got those on there. And then I also, if you look right down here, this is also a ProTech part. It is the oil filter. Um, and so I've got one of those on there. Um, got it painted, uh, you know, orange color. Um, and then we've got a ProTech um, carburetor that I'm gonna be putting on there. This is the Holly Dominator carburetor. Um, and so this is a cast aluminum one, I believe. Uh, but if you, uh, I took my, um, uh, my Dremel and polished it out and everything and it just comes out looking really 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 nice um, very realistic again ProTech makes a wonderful wonderful uh, one there um, and then if you take a look we have got uh, this is cool this is the carb spacer uh, now this came with the uh, sweet scale detail engine kit and uh, this is just really really cool just nice little added detail there um, so that's going to look great sitting underneath that uh, carburetor on top of the uh, intake manifold. Um, and it's got, you know, all of the detailing. It's got the four little ports there um, and everything. So really, really, really nice. So anyway, I am super excited about this engine. Um, I do have some uh, uh, pulleys um, that are on the way. Those are also coming from Sweet Scale Detail um, that I'll be putting uh, on the front here. I'm going to be running a nice little setup on the front there. I'm getting that all put together with the alternator and everything. Um, and that'll just make the front of that look really, really, really nice. So anyway, uh, that's it for the engine. Uh, let's take head on over and take a look at the body. Okay, here is the body. And I am really happy with how this is turning out. Um, as you can see, I did go with the gunmetal uh, base coat on this. And what I used for that is the uh, Vallejo, this is the model color, and it is just their, their gunmetal gray. Um, that's what I use for the body on this. Uh, and then if I spin this around here, you can see that it has uh, some racing stripes on it. Um, these are taped off racing stripes that I painted on, uh, and what I used for that is, again, just that Vallejo gunmetal gray, but I added a little bit of black to it and uh, just enough to kind of darken it up and make it a, I guess, darker gunmetal gray, if you want to call it that. Um, and so, you know, I tried to mimic these to look like uh, the Chevy racing stripe, so it's got the fatter stripe with the kind of little, you know, pinstripe uh, next to it. Um, and I've got those there on the front, 
and then also I have them on the uh, trunk as well. Uh, so it looks really good. Uh, on the body itself, I did shave off the door handles and a few emblems um, that were on it. I'll be replacing the emblems with some uh, aftermarket uh, photo etch parts um, that I'll be putting on there. And then if you look right here uh, on the side window, I did shave off uh, the drip rail that runs across the top right there and then I took out uh, the just little quarter you know vent window that's right here um, a lot of the older you know cars in this time period had those and I thought it just looks kind of cleaner without it a little more modern um, which is a little more fitting with what I'm trying to go with on this and uh, you know since it's gonna be like a pro touring type of build um, so yeah that's it guys that's what we've got going on here um, that is the update on the 65 Impala. So uh, I'll try to get some more done here soon, get another video for you posted, or get another video posted for you all. And so stay tuned, everybody. Like I always say, eat, sleep, styrene. Keep building those awesome models. Keep the eye candy coming. And I will see you guys in the next video.